So I've wondered, what is Milo Yiannopoulos up to now? No hope is too high, Milo. A lot of people on the right like to bring up and are upset about how some groups on the left seem to hold awful people up on a pedestal. I mean, it's not that they're holding up the crimes up on a pedestal, but they hold certain people who have committed crimes up on a pedestal. But what about the right? What about the right's version of this same sort of thing? The right holds awful people up on a pedestal. You know, as long as they haven't actually broken any laws, the nastier, the meaner, the more bully-like the person is, the more you hold them up on a pedestal, the more you seem to respect them. I mean, it's actually the awful things about those people that you hold up on a pedestal. At least with the left, when they're holding criminals up on a pedestal, they're not holding the crimes up on the pedestal. They're holding some group because... They're a particular demographic up on a pedestal. Now, I'm not saying two wrongs make a right. Now, don't get me wrong. The left does home in on their way of bullying, calling you some sort of bigoted name, right? Oh, oh you're a something-ist, right? They'll call you one of those things. They'll try to get your job taken away. You know, they'll try to cancel you in any way they can. You know, that happens. I think what would calm some of this down is if the right actually called out their own a little bit when it comes to this sort of thing. Hey, don't treat people like that. Don't treat people so nasty like that. There's no need for that. But you don't see it. You see people basically applauding for it. Oh, you really showed them all working within a legal framework. You know, as long as you... As long, the nastier you can be under this legal framework or this, this set of rules, the nastier you can be, well, the better. Well, that means you're better than other people, right? That means you're superior to other people, right? That's kind of the attitude. So the left is reacting in any way they know how, and they're, they're being irrational, and they're, they're not looking down the road very well. They're not looking many moves ahead. They're... They're just like, well, we need to stop this. It's, it's hateful. It's, it needs to be banned. These people need to be, be canceled. These people need to have their lives affected negatively because of what they've said. When the truth is, people on the right just need to start calling some of these people out. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, they're reacting to how the left is reacting, and it just compounds itself, and it just gets worse and everyone's pointing fingers at each other, and uh, nothing is getting accomplished except more division. You know, make fun of people for things they have no control of. Be as nasty as possible. Be as degrading as possible. The more you potentially make someone feel like shit, the better. After all, you have to pwn those communists, right? I mean, look how many years right-wingers held Rush Limbaugh up on a pedestal. As nasty as possible under the, under the rules that exist. If those rules were even more lax, they'd get even nastier. The left doesn't care as much about the rules, but the left doesn't try to be as nasty as possible. They throw tantrums. They'll riot when they feel like they're cornered. They feel like they have no other way of being heard. I'm not saying the rioting is a good thing. I'm not saying that uh, we should accept the rioting, but I understand why it's there. Now, there are obviously people who are rioting who just want any excuse to cause havoc. Okay, but those people exist everywhere. You know, some people just like to watch the world burn. So yeah, you know, as long as you're pwning those communists, that's all that matters, right? Because, you know, Biden is supposedly a communist or socialist, right? Or he's a communist puppet. 
The logic makes no sense to me. So what's Tim Pool up to? If Joe Biden wins, they'll take over all our cultural institutions. They'll put psychotic and insane definitions in our dictionary and they will take over and regular Americans will say, please, love of God, just leave me alone. And they never will. They'll never stop coming. They will take your job away. They will come for your parents. You will you will do something wrong. They'll fire your mom. They'll 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 come to your house with fireworks and guns and Americans will still just say, please just leave me alone. Well, that seems a bit hyperbolic, doesn't it? That kind of seems like some hysteria and fear mongering, wouldn't you say? Kind of gone off the deep end. But it's Tim Pool. I mean, it's he's a grifter. You know, he he does the same thing that that mainstream cable news does. You know, get people all riled up over something. And you know, I'm glad I saw that clip of Tim Pool because it's showing me the direction that I could have headed. You know, I, I've caught myself. You know, it's, it's, it's easy to go down that kind of rabbit hole where you start to, to have this paranoid view of the world. Now, again, I'm not saying that none of these things are actually happening. Um, the left, when it comes to the cancel culture, is gotten, has gotten really, really nasty. But you're hinging it on, it, you know, oh, it, it'll, it'll just explode if, if Joe Biden wins. And I'm just like, what? You know, all oh, the stuff that you're seeing in HR departments and at universities, it's going to explode. It's going to, to just go way more into our lives. If Biden wins, he's going to facilitate this. I'm just like, what? Biden. We're talking about Biden here. The more conservative side of the Obama administration. Biden is no communist or socialist. To say such is laughable. It's just, it's just plain laughable. Again, he was the conservative side of the Obama administration. He's not even really on the left. He's a neoliberal. Now, if you're saying that Biden won't actively do anything about this stuff that's been going on, about the rioting, about the stuff that's being crammed down students' throats, the stuff that is being crammed down people's throats in HR departments, yeah, I, I, I don't think he's going to actively try to stop any of that. That's true. But he's not going to promote it. Now, if you're saying, you know, well, unless we actively try to stop this, it's going to take over. I don't know what to say about that. You know, you have a possibility of being right. But, I mean, as long as we're not egging it on. You know, I, I could see you saying this. If Bernie, whom I actually liked for the most part, but if Bernie got elected, Bernie is more on those sides. Bernie is more on the side of the, uh, of some of this crazy woke culture stuff. He would be more likely to implement some of the things that some of the crazed people are, are screaming about. He would be more likely, even though, you know, he'd also be doing a number of good things as well, you know, uh, with health care and the environment and, and uh, different people's rights. And anyway, I could go on for a long time. I liked a lot of things about Bernie. Not everything, but, you know, I would have been willing to put up with some of the social justice crap if it meant that we got other things that we need. You know, with Biden, yeah, he, he's... He's really, he's not going to give us the things we need, and he's not going to cram this this garbage, woke crap down everyone's throats. It's going to be a nothing kind of presidency. You know, nothing is going to really get accomplished. We might even get into more wars, unfortunately. But this hysteria and fear-mongering that if Biden is elected, we're, 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 he's going to give in to all of these crazy things that, that uh, the far left is demanding? Oh, give me a break. Give me a fucking break. No matter how frail you think he is, um, he's not going to push that crap. You know, and, and you might say, well, what about Kamala? Well, yeah, Kamala has all these catchphrases and things she puts on, on, on the website, but I don't think she's going to actually implement any of them. It's, it's just all to try to get uh, votes. You know, that's how I think of it. Now, maybe, maybe there's some truth to, to some of the things that, that she has on the, on the website. You know, and if we do get Biden, he, 
He's, it's likely he may not make it through the whole presidency and we end up having President Kamala. I, I don't see this stuff getting substantially worse under that kind of presidency. Yeah, nothing would be done about it. And so it would it would expand in the way that it naturally would unless someone tried to stop it. But there's no guarantee that Trump would stop it either. Now you could say, well, well, Trump is the only chance that we have of stopping it. And I'm just like, yeah, but is it is it worth everything else that comes with the Trump presidency? Is that worth it? Is it worth our society coming apart? Because as I've said, that's that's what we're getting with Trump. A continuation of more of this bullying mindset. The stuff that, you know, it's essentially like the kind of crap that uh, Milo said. The kind of shit that Rush Limbaugh says and has said for years and has degraded people for. You know, the, just cel the celebration of degrading people and then they have no recourse because people on the left suck at insults. Okay, we suck at insults. We, we just don't insult well. We're just not good at it. It's not in our nature. We'll call you names because we think you fit some sort of a label. But as far as insults, we're terrible at it. This is kind of what I mean by the left feels cornered. You know, our country is run by bullies right now. And the bullies feel vindicated. What do people have left to do to, to you know, resist this type of bullying behavior? Oh, but the left are the real bullies. They, they're turning into the real bullies. Yes, you're right. You're right. But you won't look at the crap on your side. You won't even acknowledge it. Every time someone tries to say, but, 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 but the left, but, but the left, but look at your own side. You're a part of this issue. You're a part of this problem. But you want to ignore it because the direct things that the extremists on the left are doing look so much worse. But, you know, here's the thing about Tim Pool, okay? He sometimes, even often, brings up valid concerns. But he's such a grifter that it's hard to tell the valid points and the valid things that are being talked about. It's hard to tell that from the sensationalist stuff. It's hard to tell it from the hysteria and fear-mongering. You know, there was a Twitter incident that I had made a video about when, around when this happened where Tim Pool was pretending not to know what the Great Replacement Theory was, even though he had talked about having studied the manifesto of the Christchurch shooting, and he talked about having really looked into the mindsets of, of the, the far right and white nationalists and, and all of that, and he's going, going to, and when someone tries to bring something up so he can criticize it, he goes, oh, what's, what's the Great Replacement Theory? Tim, you're not stupid. It's pretending not to know about these things in order to not have to criticize it. He knows he has a lot of horrible people that follow him, and he's willing to take that all the way to the bank. Take note that he pretty much never focuses a video on awful things that the right is up to. If he ever mentions something that the right is up to, it's in a, just a passing phrase as he's... As he's pretty much solely criticizing the left. Now, again, I'm, I'm not saying the left doesn't have things that should be criticized. It does. But that's all Tim does. Okay? He's in it for the money. He knows what gets views. He's found a good niche for himself. You know, but again, I'm glad I saw this clip that I featured. You know, it, it showed me a direction that I was kind of headed. I mean, I don't make these videos for the money, but... It's easy to fall into this sort of hysteria. It's easy to fall for some of the fear-mongering. Do we have some things to worry about? Yeah. But it's not like the way Tim Poole puts it. Anyway.